Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of the Star Trek Online playthrough. So the next mission is titled The Factory. The pad you discovered on Galkar deck revealed the location of a secret facility in the Alpha Quadrant. There appears to be some kind of alliance between the True Way and the Dominion. We cannot allow them to join forces. Right, okay. Oh, look at that, stun pistol. How can I help you? Okay, let's transwarp there. So apparently, in Star Trek Online, Earth is located in the Beta Quadrant. That's confusing. As I always assumed it was the Alpha Quadrant, as stated in Voyager. So I have heard that there's like an in-between where they're going to say it's partly in the Alpha and partly in the Beta Quadrant. For some reason, my ship keeps getting stuck in space. Something tells me there's glitches going on here. Some cue trickery. Ah, that's better, it's working. The factory. So we've arrived in the Devos system at the coordinates from Gulkardex pad, detecting Cardassian and Dominion energy signatures. Hmm. From Gulkardex to Gulpalat, I have run into some complications. Namely, some agents have interfered with my plans. They have stolen the Orb of Possibilities. I assume they have returned it to the Bajorans by now. Fortunately, the anomaly remains stable. I was able to retreat to the Mirror Universe where I have taken shelter with my Terran allies. However, I believe they are waiting for my return. Oh, under attack. Full power to weapons, I think. Oh, Jem'Hadar as well. I'm assuming that's a Jem'Hadar fighter, but I can't really see it. Well, they're no match for us. <laughs> Alpha Gemadar. Oh, Galore. I'd expect the Galore class to be a bit more tougher. Let's find out. If only Goldie Cop was in this. That'd be funny. Even though it's only a Cheyenne class, that is a Federation starship still. So we should be more than a match for the Galore class. Maybe not a Keldon. Maybe about the same as a Keldon. Ooh. Recharge the shields, I think. Oh, Jemadar battleship, that could be problematic. Let's hope there's no one from Red Squad on our ship. Yeah, that thing looks powerful. Gosh. Weird. They seem to be frozen in space. Unless it's the tractor beam mines. Might have been. Whoa! Shockwave. Well, we seem to have maneuverability on our side, as you would expect.
Whoa, there we go. Not enough room. Okay, let's scan the facility. Scan complete, sir. I'm detecting numerous life signs, mostly Jem Hadar. It appears to be some kind of manufacturing facility. Based on the presence of the large amount of Uridium Bicantazine I am detecting, along with the Jem Hadar life signs, I would venture that this is a Ketracel White factory. Ooh. I have located a cave just above the facility that should allow us to beam in undetected. Are you ready to beam down? Yep. Now remember, away team, if anybody offers you something that looks like milk, don't drink it. We have arrived in a cave just above the facility. Scans confirm that this is indeed a factory for producing Ketracel White. If we were to destroy this factory, it would be a great blow to these Alpha Jem'Hadar and their True Way allies. A few well-placed charges could cause a chain reaction that destroys the facility. Detecting Cardassian and Dominion life signs below, sir. We'd best be on our guard. Hmm. Weapons? What's that? Oh, okay. Different. Never seen this before. So we can repel down rock faces. Yeah, this reminds me of the level on Goldeneye. The facility with the tanks. Gas tanks. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, that was good. And we got a shield protecting us. Well, I have to say, I'm not impressed with the Alpha Jem'Hadars. I definitely think the Gamma ones are better. <laughs> oh wait, Veteran, he could be tough. Shock Trooper. Crikey. Whoa. Ah, here we go. So we can start placing the charges, I'm assuming. Grenade! That's right. Did I get rid of the grenades, actually? Nope, there they go. Blade reaction. In the shield. Ah! Ooh! This area is secure, sir. The area just ahead appears to be a laboratory, detecting multiple Gem Hadar life signs and one Vorsa life sign. Oh, I hope it's Wayoon! Could it be? Are there any left? I know, like, we got through quite a few of them in DS9. Worf might know. He's probably keeping a count, isn't he? <laughs> like how they just stand there staring. Wow, he's tough. Oh, there we go. We can place another charge. Speaks in... <laughs> I thought that said Newman. It's Neiman. That will be a turn up if Newman from Seinfeld was in this. Greetings. I am very glad to meet you. I am Neiman, a Vorta scientist and servant of the Founders and the Dominion, of course. You are pleased to see us? Oh my, yes. I have a proposition to which I hope you shall be amenable. I serve a Founder named Loss. He is one of 100 Founders sent here to the Alpha Quadrant. His actions have placed me in a bit of a moral conundrum that I hope you can help me unravel. We 
please go on. Loss was the first of these Alpha Quadrant founders to emerge. He located and gathered the others into a new Great Link. However, he has not seen fit to tell these founders that the war with the Dominion is over and that the Great Link is alive and well in the Gamma Quadrant. Instead, he has convinced them that you solids exterminated the Great Link and are attempting to exterminate these founders as well. What is this deal you propose? Loss keeps me away from the new Link. They have been raised on his deceits and so will be utterly convinced that you are attempting to exterminate them. I believe we can help each other. You can free me and take me to the new Link, where I can explain to the Founders the truth, that the Dominion still exists, and that you are not hunting them to extinction. Uh -huh. What's the catch? Oh, I do not like the word catch. It sounds so mercenary. But yes, my price is Loss's life. After I reveal the truth to the new Link, you must allow them to mete out their justice. I cannot jeopardize the life of a Founder under any circumstances. Very well. Come with us. That's the thing. You never saw deception from the water, really. Even Wayun. If he was saying something, he would pretty much be telling the truth, wouldn't he? The area ahead appears to be some kind of command center. I'm detecting Cardassians and Jemadar life signs. Acknowledged. I'll be glad to get out of here. These Alpha Jemhadar don't understand the proper respect owed to a Vorta. You kind of get the feeling that the Vorta didn't really like warfare or fighting. They were kind of just doing as they were told because their god told them to do it. Or the, sorry, their god. I always found them quite interesting, the Vorta. Alright, so we've got two ways to go. That way, or this way. Alright, looks like it's going to be that way then. Just gonna stand there. We've got to stop the first before he deletes all the data. Oh yeah, the first. You know, after playing this chapter, it's really made me get into Deep Space Nine again. Like, as soon as I did that one episode where we were on Deep Space Nine, we got to walk around it. It's like, right, I'm watching Deep Space Nine, and now I'm really getting back into it. Oh! That was close. I should have done a roll. There we go. Bit delayed. Wow. Excellent. I shall retrieve the coordinates. Place some charges. Although it won't let me. Am I too early? Wait for Newman. Neiman to reach the console. Hello, Newman. Jemadar Depolitionist. <laughs> ah! Okay, I didn't... I wasn't aware that was a Jemadar soldier then for some reason. I fell asleep. On the job, that's not good is it? Oh, 
that's good, I've lost my gun now. There we go, let's come back. Wow, they're really going for us, aren't they? Well, I've always got the bat left. Aww. Aha! Hand to hand. Aha! There we go. Whoa! That was weird. Just got pulled across the floor. Oops. Oh, I love that shield generator. Ah, here we are. I have the data. It will take some time to decrypt, but I recommend we depart as quickly as possible. Agreed. Place charge. Ah, here we go. Beam us up. Detecting Cardassian and Dominion energy signatures incoming. The charges on the surface are ready to detonate on your command. Ooh. Acknowledged. Detonate charges. Wow, that worked. You are so quick to blow things up. Hey. Such a waste. That factory might have come in handy someday. <laughs> Deckies. They're not going to be much of a threat, are they? Great, so we've got an attack group moving in now. Uh, yeah, I think they're just going to go up the power levels, aren't they? So, after this, will there be a more serious one, perhaps? Promotion there. Okay. Depart the system. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Neiman is requesting to speak with you. I have completed the decryption of the data we recovered. The new link appears to lie in the Orias system. I have transferred the coordinates to your helm. I want to thank you for your service to the Dominion. Uh. I also want to remind you of our agreement. Namely, that Loss, or any other founder for that matter, is not to be killed by you. I remember, Neiman. I hope I don't come to regret making that arrangement. Hmm. Yep, we're ready to depart. 
Here we go. Congratulations on destroying the facility. That should cripple the Alpha Gem Hadar for the time being. But we need to make contact with this new link. Hopefully Naaman can convince them of the truth before it's too late. Keep a close eye on him. We may have a treaty with the Dominion, but that doesn't mean I trust them. Aborta's first loyalty will always be to the Founders. Alrighty, so we got some nice rewards here. Stun gun. Nah, I'll take you. How can I help? You? Congratulations. Well, there we have it. We completed the factory, gained another promotion, and I've now got a new phaser rifle to try out. Well, I'm looking forward to the final episode of the Cardassian Saga. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.